Right, on to the next one. So, same make a bag, Ortlieb waterproof. Um, these are the bigger ones though. I can't remember the size. I think they might be 110, 110 litres, or maybe a wee bit bigger. On the front, we've got a wee Scotty Dog in tartan. Uh, it says Scotland on the front. My mum gave me that when I was leaving. It needs to be unraveled. It must keep raveling around. But yeah, that's just a wee thing my mum gave me. So keep that there. Let's have a look what's in this one. So yeah, another water bottle. Um, aye, we just keep the same two and we just keep filling them up. We could get a glass one, but the glass is very heavy to travel with and could break, so sadly we've got to carry the plastic water bottles. But we've got two, two of them, uh, both 1.5 litres, so it's a good amount of water to carry. We jumper, it's coming into the winter months, so I normally sleep with that and wear it in the morning just because I it's starting to get cold. Ah, this year, this is probably one of my favorite things I've got um, out of all my equipment a head torch, and you have no idea how handy this is. So, beforehand, um, before this, before I had the head torch. It was always a case of when I was setting up my tent in the dark, I would have to get my front bike light and shove it in my mouth and nah, it was just it was just horrible. You'd end up getting loads of slavers in your mouth and nah. So got myself a wee head torch and you know, you've got both your hands to work with. If you're doing stuff, um, if you're taking Nala walk and it's always pointing the way you want it to. Um, it's got quite a lot of settings on it as well. I think it was quite an expensive one. But nah, it's, it's really good. Lights up there you're working on, and very handy. Right, so, a lot of people always wonder what I do to charge my stuff when I'm on the road. Um, battery packs. Now these are all very heavy, and I've got four of them. So, I mean, I don't even know the makes. Anchor, anchor, and cellular line yeah i mean nothing special you can buy these in any electronic store you want just a little fly flying with you so yeah i've got four of them and these probably keep everything on the road charged for about two weeks just depending on how much i use them so battery packs my, my wee gopro box what does this have in it this is just my OCD-ness of keeping all my cables and plugs and just wee adapters for the GoPro all neat and tidied away. So I've got plenty of cables there for everything. Um, and I carry a few extra as well because it's one thing that always keeps breaking. You probably know where to sell. Cables don't last that long before they start fraying at the end. Um, plugs. This is a plug I use mostly, it's got four four USB bits in it so you can charge quite a few things at once. Um, yeah, and just loads of wee adapters for the GoPro, so then if you want it to be a wee bit higher up on the bike or yeah, if you're just setting something up, you can never have enough of them. And look how neat it is. Eh? Nice and clean. Um, charger for my speakers. I don't think I actually showed you my speakers. We'll do that quickly just now. But yeah, JBL speakers. So that's the charger for them. And I just keep them on the back of my bike. You know, when you find a nice place to camp, I do quite enjoy some music. So yeah, if it's out the road of people, just put music on nice and loud. And yeah, that's where they stay. Got two bungee cords, just keeping them on. I did actually used to carry the bigger set of them, and they came out to about there, and they were massive. They were so heavy, but I think 
I started carrying more stuff for Nala, so I had to downgrade and get smaller speakers. I think they ones last for about eight hours charged, but uh, there's some days you just need music to to push you on, give you a wee bit more. Um, aye, this is my drone. It's a DJI Mavic. Just keeps everything neat in here. There it is there, it's all folded away. Open it up. And that's it. Just basically ready to go up in the air. It's quite heavy, I don't actually use it that much. But, you know, there's sometimes you see a beautiful building and it just it just really finishes the YouTubes off. What else is in here? We've got three batteries in total. It's always the batteries that are the heaviest. Uh, the controller and a charging station. And that is that. I think that is that one empty. Nope. Oh, aye. That is a quad lock poncho for the phone. So yeah, if it's raining really heavy, you just put that over the screen and it just protects all the bits of water can get into as well. Which is very good. Anyway, I'll pack this one away and on to the last pannier. Right. On to the last one. Am I saving the best to last? Nope. But on to the last one. Right, so in here. My wee camping stove. Now this is an MSR one. What's the actual name? I have no idea. But basically, that's the gas. And um, that's actually pretty empty at the minute, so I'll need to get a new one pretty soon. But when you buy it, it just comes like that. I think it's an MSR uh, reactor stove. So you screw that onto the gas, like so. It's got the wee bit there, just turn it, and then you've got my flint. Just poof, poof. And that lights that up. So yeah, that's the wee MSR pot as well. Go like that, it's got the wee handle and a wee lid. And that just sits on there. Now, when I started this trip, I had a different kind of stove. I think it was a, a wee diesel one. And it took forever to heat up water. Like, it would take about 20 minutes. It took absolutely forever. But then I changed to this one, and this will boil 500 millilitres of water in probably about 40 seconds. It's, it's that quick. It's like got a special design on it that um, yeah, just helps heat the water faster. So that is probably, I would say, a very good thing to have on you as well. Because, especially when I've got Nali, you don't want to be sitting around forever waiting for your water to boil or your food to cook. So. I mean, that's brilliant. I think that's worth its weight in gold. Gloves. Um, these are pretty good gloves. I have no idea what make they are though. But, yeah. It's coming into winter. I get very cold hands. Obviously sitting in the front of the bike all the time, they don't move much. That is a lifesaver sometimes. And I usually get another wee pair that go inside them, but I don't have them at the minute. But yeah, I had them from last year, very good gloves. Also, a wee snood, just to keep my neck warm. Whenever I start getting a cold, I get a really sore throat, so that helps a lot. <laughs> a wee copy of Nala's World. I mean, I've got that, you never know when you meet someone you want to give it to them. Every time I meet someone, though, and I try and give them this book, they always say, no, no, you keep that, um, hello wee wasp, hello. I always say no you keep that and they just go and buy one so um yeah i've got that on me just in case i ever meet anyone i would love to who helps me out i'd just love to give them that and it's good to show people as well i don't really want to show you this next one because i love wearing my crocs so much but sometimes it does get too cold for my wee tootsies so a good pair of wee waterproof boots which yeah, I can see me wearing them pretty soon. 
but I don't have socks yet, I need to find myself a nice pair of woolly socks. And then of course, Nala's woolly jumper. We've got four of these, but we've only got one fat sitting over free home, because that's all she needs. And the yellow one is just such a beautiful jumper as well. It looks really good on her. A good colour for her. We've also got a wee waterproof jacket for Nala, just to keep her fur her fur dry if she's out where we walk. I've not actually tried it on her yet, so I try and keep her out of the rain as much as I can because yeah, you don't want her getting wet and cold. But just in case we ever need that, a wee waterproof jacket for her and polka dots as well, so she'll look beautiful. Um, that's my other battery pack, another anchor one. That's a very big one, and yeah, that charges my phone, keeps it charged quite a lot. I'm talking a wee bit faster now because the battery's almost gone in the GoPro. Um, this big jacket, I got this in Austria last year for for the cold and the make is dope and it's absolutely rubbish at keeping you warm I think it's more just for uh, keeping the rain and the snow off you but I thought it was for like keeping you warm and it actually it makes you feel the cold more if that even makes sense like even on a kind of just it holds no heat at all so but still to try it if it's waterproof and last but not least, my MacBook. Um, every morning when I wake up, uh, no matter where I am, I just check my emails quickly and I also check the web page. Um, we've got an artist who does a daily comic every single day, so I like to see her work she's done as well. Um, basically, basically, she draws an eight page comic off the day we've just had. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. If you guys are into comics or anything, you can check it out on our website. I'll put the link down below. But, ah, it's, it's cool. She's done it for a few years now. I think there's over 800 comics. And, ah, it's just a pretty cool thing to have. A wee comic book getting made about you. So, aye, it's linked down below. But, that's the last thing I have in here. Oh, and the last thing, guys. Uh, we record everything on the GoPro 10, so that's this here. Um, it also has a case and a wee microphone at the side. Um, and it's got a wee light at the top as well. So, aye, that is, I think that's us finished, talking about our bike and our equipment. If there's anything else you would like to know, just put it in the comments down below. And I'll try and answer as much of the questions as I can about it. Anyway, that being said, let's get back and wake up Nala and see how she's doing. Hello, you seen hello to everyone? Yes, you wouldn't have liked that video because it was just talking about all the boring equipment. Yes. We're over. We're over. Scratch your back. Scratch your back. Got you. Got you. Anyway, guy, oh my god, look how white I am with this light. Whoa, like a ghost. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I, as I said before, any questions about anything, put in the comments below and we'll help you out. Um, we're back on the bike tomorrow morning, so, ciao for now.